Today, we will show you how to set up your XRM570 gaming router and mesh Wi-Fi system. Let's get started. Place your mesh extender in the same room as your router. You can move your mesh extender to a new location after the setup. To set up the antennas on your XR500 router, remove the antenna caps from the antenna posts on the back of the router. Attach and position the antennas in the four sockets of your XR500. For the best Wi-Fi performance, position the antennas as shown. Now, let's connect your modem to your router. Unplug your modem, wait 30 seconds, and then plug the modem back in. Remove and reinsert the backup battery if it uses one. Use the Ethernet cable to connect the modem to the yellow internet port labeled WAN on the XR500 router. If your internet connection doesn't require a modem, Connect your primary Ethernet cable to the yellow WAN internet port on the XR500 router. Connect the power adapters to both your XR500 router and EX7700 mesh extender and plug the power adapters into the wall outlets. Wait for the router's power LED to light up solid white and wait for the extender's power LED on the back of the extender to light up solid green when they are ready to connect. Wait for the mesh extender to automatically connect to your router. During this process, all the LEDs on the front of the mesh extender will blink white until the mesh extender connects with your router. When your mesh extender successfully connects with your router, only the extender's router link LED remains lit. To finish setting up your Wi-Fi network, connect a web-enabled device to your router's Wi-Fi network, then launch your web browser. It will automatically display the step-by-step -step installation assistant. If the installation assistant is not immediately displaying, search www.routerlogin.net. If you want to change your router's Wi-Fi network name, admin username or passwords, make sure that your mesh extender's router link LED is on before making changes so that the changes can apply to your extender as well. Once you change your router's Wi-Fi network credentials, your mesh extender briefly disconnects from your router for about one minute and then automatically reconnects. Once you see the router link LED light up solid white, your mesh extender's network credential change has been successfully updated. All finished, your XRM570 gaming router and mesh Wi-Fi system are now connected and ready to use. Be sure to download the Nighthawk mobile app to manage your Wi-Fi network and get access to additional features. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.